Well, good morning and welcome to Scary Movie 2. Uh, Matthew 5, verse 30, Jesus goes on to say in the Sermon on the Mount, if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one part of your body than for your whole body to go to hell. So today, the axe. The question is, is my right hand causing me to sin? Just take a look at your hands as you watch this video. They are incredible things, beautiful things, created by God and created to do amazing things, good things, play a piano, uh, care for a baby, create something, design something, draw something. They are wonderful things held up in worship. And uh, the Pharisees, of course, in Jesus' time, used their hands to pray, to, to do their religious activities, to point scripture, to, to, to give alms to the poor. They were impressive hands. But Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount is digging way beyond what we look like, way beyond the superficial. And he wants us to know that sin can take what is very good, designed by God, and to twist it and to make it an instrument for wickedness. Think of a pointing finger, think of a clenched fist, think of a hand that writes and diddles its tax return. And God's law, which is good and holy and just, is not able to deliver that. In fact, it, it provokes, reveals and provokes the very sin and our sinful nature. Think of going into a supermarket recently and wanting to go shopping and not needing toilet rolls, but then a toilet roll warning comes and my hand reaches for something I do not need. It provokes, the law provokes the sinful nature. And therefore we need to be radical with sin. Jesus says sin is so powerful and so polluted, we need to be radical and we need to take an axe. Oh, now that, that really hurts. Jesus says that's how radical we must be with sin. We must daily hunger and thirst for righteousness. We must daily realise we are poor in spirit. And only as we do so will we be turning to God in desperation to forgive our sins and to plead that he would fill us with his Holy Spirit in order to live this life that is pleasing to him. Oh, I haven't got it right yet. I have to use the other one.